I'm Jonathan Xu uh, from CFAL. And today I'm going to talk about uh, two new technology introduced in uh, CFAL project. Okay, then first, uh, maybe, some, maybe some people here don't know about CFAL, so I will do a short introduction about CFAL. CFAL is an open source and fast and reliable file sync and share solution. And compared to the uh, very well-known uh, cloud storage solutions, it's uh, private and uh, open source. And uh, CFAL has a few uh, advantages. First of all, it's a very comprehensive cloud storage platform. It has uh, most of the functionality you would expect from uh, cloud storage. And Compared to other solutions, our main advantage is the speed of, synch of the file synchronization. We have very high performance uh, client and server that can sync uh, tens of thousands of files in a minute. And the server is very lightweight. It can be run in a Raspberry Pi uh, with very low resource consumption. And because we don't have, uh, we don't rely heavily on the database, so our Database overhead is very low, nearly zero. So the maintenance is very easy. Uh, currently, we have about uh, 20, 20 educational institutions using CFAL. This is a small map uh, showing the, uh, our educational users. And the first technology I, I want to introduce is uh, the CFAL Drive client. First of all, I want to uh, explain What's the motivation behind this uh, new drive client? Why, why do we uh, try to build a new client? Um, let's review uh, what we, how do we use cloud storage today. The most common uh, usage model of cloud storage is file synchronization. And all we, uh, we all know that file synchronization has many benefits. For example, you can uh, sync the file to your desktop and you can uh, use it and use it uh, even though you even if you don't have uh, any network connection, and you can easily share the files on the web, and you can access it uh, from the mobile phone, from your desktop, from anywhere. But in some cases, uh, file syncing can be very not very convenient. Uh, the first case is you have today we 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 may have many a uh, very large cloud storage space, but uh, but we also have only very limited local storage. For example, on a MacBook, we can have only about 20, uh, 225 uh, gigabyte of SSD drive. And uh, one solution to this is to use selective sync. But selective sync can be quite annoying and uh, very counterintuitive because by default, the, the files will be sync, uh, will all be sync no matter how many files are shared to you. For example, a few gigabytes file may be shared to you, and they will by default all sync to your desktop. And you need to hurry into the interface and uncheck all the, uncheck all the checkboxes to uh, let us, the client, log to sync the files. And another inconvenience is that, uh, why should I uh, sync all these files, even though I I'm just want to use uh, three or four files, mm, it's not quite, un not quite convenient in some cases. And we can also review uh, how do we use uh, storage before we have file syncing. It is uh, Windows Share is the main way we use uh, storage before we have cloud storage. It has some uh, advantages. For example, it is very intuitive because the, you can directly assess the file as a virtual drive on your, as a, as a drive on your local computer. You can assess remote file uh, virtually as a, your local files. That's very easy and convenient for especially long technical users. And uh, another advantage is that it, it does not consume your local storage space. It is completely on the, on the so-called cloud, the, the old-fashioned cloud. So I think actually this is by definition what cloud storage should be look like. Your, your, all your files will be on the cloud. You only, as, you, 
uh, the files should only be downloaded and assessed on demand. When, whenever you need it, when you don't need it, it is on the cloud only. But it has some uh, serious uh, disadvantage compared to cloud storage solutions. For example, you, the most important one is you cannot access Windows Share without a network connection. And it is very slow in the WAN, and you don't have a convenient way to share the file on the web. So my question is, uh, can we have the best of both worlds? OK. Let's consider one possible solution. Is WebDave the solution for this problem? Uh, WebDave has some advantage. For example, it can, it can work like the Windows Share. You can map your cloud storage space as a local drive. But uh, there is also many problems with the WebDave uh, protocol and the, and the client-side implementation. If you map a web, WebDave drive, WebDave, uh, web data storage as a, as a client drive, then the OS will send many redundant requests to the, to the server, and it can be quite slow to browse or download or upload the files. It is not, not just, uh, it is just log design for this uh, requirement. And for web data, you also don't have the offline access to the files. So, our proposal and solution is to build a drive client, a virtual drive client that can map your cloud storage space as a virtual drive on your computer. As you can see, there will be a new virtual drive on your Windows computer or Mac or Linux computer. Then when you click into this drive, you can see that you, you can immediately see all your files on the cloud, even though the files are not downloaded. They will be, uh, this is how it works. The files will be downloaded when you assess them or open them. It combines the good size of uh, file syncing and Windows Share. From the Windows Share, we, we have uh, very intuitive and easy access to all the files on the cloud. You don't consume any local space until you uh, open the file. And, uh, from the file syncing side, you can also have uh, offline access to the files because the clients will automatically cache the file when you open it. And you can also selectively, uh, selectively choose which folder or files to be keep synchronized on your client. So it is a good combination of the old way and the new way. Uh, this is a brief uh, scheme, scheme about uh, how this drive client works. Mm. We use, uh, we use uh, first of all, we need the virtual, virtual file system layer that we use to build a, a user space file system on the client. For the virtual file system library, we use uh, fields on Mac and Linux and use an open source project called how can why to um, for for implement the virtual file system on Windows, and the use the application the local applications all assess the <coughs> files uh, through this virtual file system layer, and to assess the file into the in the local cache. The files are written and and read from this local cache, and then we use the existing C file syncing file syncing protocol to sync the file with the cloud. So this is uh, basically how it works. So the client, the new client is uh, totally compatible with the existing servers. And for the use cases, uh, I think for the 90%, because it com it, this drive client, it combines the good things from Windows Share and the file syncing. So I think it is, uh, it can satisfy 90% of the file syncing use case. So it can be used as a completely new way to use your cloud storage. And another goal is to replace the Windows Share on many organizations. 
And uh, an obvious use case is to assess a very large cloud storage space on a very limited uh, client, for example, on a terminal server. And uh, it can be also good for the uh, research institutes that produce large volume of research data or ex experimental data. They can write this data virtually directly into the cloud without consuming a lot of local space. So it, it is like extending your desktop or laptop with an almost unlimited uh, cloud storage space. And the companies and organizations can also benefit from the fact that the drive client only works as a cache for the cloud. So it can be easy to remove the data on the, on, on the client for a compliance reason or for, for, for after a, or after your computer is lost. Okay, we can have a video now. Okay. So you can see after login, You will see the client is uh, fetching the file list. It finished very quickly. And you can see there will be a drive on your desktop. And you have 90 terabytes of space for this disk. <laughs> and uh, you can open a video. This video is not uh, cached yet. So it is uh, streamed to the client. You can skip the video because it is in the uh, in a land environment. So it is very fast. Okay, we open another file, and after that, there will be a green tick uh, on the file. Then we copy uh, about one gigabyte folder into the drive. Because it is writing into the local cache space, so it, the speed is quite fast. And after that, you will see the, the drive client start to sync the data to the cloud. Okay, because it's syncing in the LAN environment, so it can be quite fast. Okay, I think it's more or less finished, this video. Okay, so for some performance data, is mm, we tested a few uh, cases for the performance comparison between C drive and uh, WebDAV and Windows Share. As you can see, the performance for the C drive and, and the Windows Share is quite close in the LAN environment. But for the last case of uh, reading, reading, uh, copying a lot of uh, small files out of the drive client, it can be for right now, much slower than Windows Share, but it, it is an implementation issue. We can do some uh, more optimization later. And you can see for WebDAV, uh, copying a lot of files into it can be quite slow because it involves, involves uh, many database updates. Okay, for the, yeah, for the next topic, maybe. <laughs> 
Yeah, just for the, uh, this is a server side feature that is for backup purpose. Uh, traditionally, we have uh, regular data backup between the primary server and the backup server. But with this new feature, we can provide continuous protection to the CFAR server. We use the we use our uh, sync, and, sync and share protocol to sync between the primary and backup servers so that it can be synced in a real-time manner. It doesn't have a backup window. Uh, this is uh, how it works. Uh, this is the data storage model for, for CFAR on the server. We use uh, our data model is based on the file system snapshot and all these objects, objects are, are stored in the object storage system. We, we only store the, the, latest stock, the latest snapshot ID in the data, relational database. So our database workflow can be quite low. And, and this model works uh, much like Git. We uh, learn the model from Git. And so because Git is a distributed file syncing protocol <coughs> or data model, so we can use that for syncing between the servers. And we use this protocol to sync the data between the servers, but we also rely on MySQL replication to sync some long critical uh, data, for example, the, the owner and sharing relationship of, the, of uh, the, the libraries or folders. There are some use cases for this technology. You can use it for uh, backup, and you can use it for multi-site replication, and uh, for high availability uh, purpose for geography replication. Okay, that, I'm done. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, we're a bit tight on time, so I'll allow a single question. If that, oops, don't do that. <laughs> oh no, that's that's crew. That's just that's an honor employee. You can't do that. Sorry. Uh, other questions? Yes, sir. Sorry, David. <laughs> Yeah, they will be available, I think, in the first half year. That's nice and tight and sharp. Thank you. Yeah. Kuba, what are you doing? Uh, it's <laughs> yeah, we also go into kernel space. But the kernel, the kernel module is open source. It's, it's the doc and Y. And the fields for, for Linux and Mac. Yeah, I, I can't say it's more state stable than, than the proprietary code written by Dropbox, but it is open source. <laughs> I'll allow that. <laughs> this, is, this is turning into a court session. Thank you very much. One more, yeah. <laughs> one more round of applause, please. And okay.